These two once served up one of the greatest ever championship playoff finals. 23 years on, they might well meet in the League One version. Sunderland's Luke 09 almost did his bit to help Charlton's playoff ambitions. If they do meet in the final, it will be for the second time in two years. Charlton came out on top in 2019, despite going behind to an own goal. Here, the roles were reversed as Josh Scowan made a hash of his clearance to give the Addicts the lead. Sunderland were on a 14-game unbeaten run in League and Cup, so a response was expected. It came through Callum McFadzine, but his effort was turned away by Ben Amos. After the break, Preston Loney, Jaden Stockley came close to adding a second for the visitors. The superstitious fans might be glad he didn't. He scored five times in this loan spell and never been on the winning side. So perhaps he did the next best thing, using his head to assist for Alex Gilby to make it 2-0. He needed to show some bravery to grab his first for the club. Lee Johnson had made a quadruple substitution just before that goal as he tried to get his side back into the match, but it was one of his starters who pulled one back. Scowen making up for the own goal with a header from outside of the box. Charlton, though, held on and still have the playoffs in their sights. Birmingham's working out. Nigel Atkins is working out all right at Charlton oh. as well. This is a huge win. Probably uh, the, the, the keeper wouldn't have been buying a wee drink if they were having one after. Yeah, Ben Amos was brilliant, and you're right. Nigel Atkins doing a great job. But I think it's a hard place to go, Sunderland, but you need your goalkeeper to have a good game. And Ben Amos had a... That is a great save from Charlie White. This one is fantastic. It's a shot, and he tips it around the corner. But he saves the best to the last call, and he's a bit devastated there because none of his defenders help him out. It's a great save, and what you do as a goalkeeper, you get out, react. It's a good header from Scowen from 25 yards. But ben, it, this game was all about Ben Amos' superb performance from him. On his birthday too. Yep. You know, it was a, a, a great day for the top two. As both won, whilst none of the chasing back in the playoff places managed to pick up a victory. Charlton stay seventh, but that win at Sunderland, what a win means the Addicts are just a point behind sixth place Lincoln. Look at that. Right, Rochdale with the only side in the relegation zone to lose. Wimbledon and Wigan then picked up those big away wins. Mark Robinson's men have a look at that move out of the drop zone as a result. Just seven points, though, still separate the bottom six.